Now, technology in Kenya is helping women break into the male-dominated taxi sector, hitting the streets of the capital city as e-cabbies. Africa 54's Esti Gidhu Yubot has that story. A new breed of women is emerging dressed for business with immaculate makeup, matching handbags and stilettos. These five Nairobi women meet in the morning to share strategies on networking and dealing with difficult clients. Thanks to a taxi hailing app, they are ready to begin their long work hours. Lydia Muchiri is 29. We started early last year and uh, we were very few. We were like 15 of us and the number has grew to 121 ladies so far and also we are looking out to be more. In the last three years, at least a dozen e-cab apps have launched in Kenya to meet the growing demands of a smartphone-armed middle class, seeking an affordable and safer alternative to Nairobi's reckless, overcrowded minivans. Farida Hamis, a single mother of five children, decided to become an online taxi driver in 2017, and she's not looking back. I need to inspire women out there. They can do. They can do it. They can do without handouts. As long as you have your PSV, why don't you join such an online uh, business? You do it. I look myself into a world of whereby I'll be having my own fleet. Little Cabs is one of Nairobi's popular ride-sharing platforms and the only app offering riders the choice of a male or female driver. It has witnessed a 13-fold increase in the number of women drivers over the last two years. There's a perception across Africa that taxi driving is a man's job, but that view is changing. Customers in Nairobi say women drivers are careful and professional. Mwikali Domi is one of them. I'm more comfortable being driven by a woman than a man, one. And women are more friendlier, more easy to talk to. It makes the ride more enjoyable. <laughs> Kenya's economy has grown on average by 5% a year over the last decade. But the benefits are not being equally distributed and women remain disadvantaged socially, economically and politically. To me it's the best, uh, it's the best option I had because uh, instead of just sitting at home asking for handouts from family members or from anyone, I'd rather hustle on my own and it was the only easiest solution I could make. The female cabbies say they also face sexist comments because some people perceive them to be sex workers simply because they are well-dressed, working at night and doing, quote, a man's job. It only happens when someone is drunk and obvious. You expect them to see a very beautiful lady like me in this business. Obviously they will, but not. they don't get into it very much. You don't, once you warn them, you give them a warning, they stop. Women taxi drivers prefer riders with higher ratings and opt for locations in populated rather than isolated areas. They have an alert button in case of emergency. So to me security matters, I think we are okay because we have the SOS buttons on almost all apps now. So about uh, security, it's up to you. The drivers earn a minimum of 30 Kenyan shillings or 30 US cents per minute. On average, they make $600 a month. Cab driver Lydia Muchiri says a large number of customers appreciate women drivers. Mostly they are very happy, most of them. I can say like 95% uh, uh, of uh, clients appreciate you being a lady driver because they know that you are more responsible than men. Yes. With the taxi hailing apps filling a void in Nairobi's poor public transport system, a rising number of women are gravitating to the taxi driving profession, citing benefits such as flexible working hours, the ability to select passengers, and a guaranteed payment. Estegidu Yuot, VO News, Washington.